Alright, Stock Monster fans, another re review from my previous channel. The box says Lady Libertine, you might remember it on cable in the 80s as Frank and I. Let's check it out. As I was on horseback, I soon overtook the boy. I was about to pass him when he spoke to me. Sir, could you tell me the time, please? This is Beaumont, Mr. Beaumont, and Frank, a boy he discovered on the road. It's almost six o'clock. Perhaps my housekeeper will find you something to eat. Frank has no place to stay, for the night. no home, so Mr. Beaumont well, after offers. my mother died, my father was a mining engineer, and sadly, it was killed in an accident. In Perhaps, Frank, you could stay here a while. You know, I have a feeling there's probably a better future for you here than at sea. Oh, sir, could I really stay here? I'd be so happy. We'll see you in the morning. But Frank gets in trouble. Good sir. morning, Watson. Oh, sir, sir. What's the trouble? It's Mr. Frank. He was in the pantry. He had no business to be there. Oh, let alone it in Jack. One of the maids told him to leave him. He hit her. Well, Frank is frowned looking at some erotic literature. Or artistry, I guess. Think, uh, so, Frank, this is how you pass your time. Frank deserves a spanking. I didn't think you were a coward. I can't give you the uh, bare butt spanking that he's about to administer. I saw it. May I go, sir? And everything was clear. He saw that she doesn't have a yes, penis. Go. All the mystery of the past few months was solved. Frank was a girl. I've decided to be lenient with you. I was planning to send you away to school. But I changed my mind. I think it would be better for all concerned if you remain here to Hillcrest. Oh, thank you, sir. He goes to visit the stunningly beautiful actress uh, named Sophie Favier, who plays Maud. But he comes I'm home not to a gentleman. Francis. I'm a woman, and I love you. Who says she I loves know. him? They discussed the spanking. And then? It was terrible, but very exciting. And afterwards? I wanted you to make love to me. And now? I want you to make love to me. She gets her wish, but she doesn't know what she's doing. She's a little inexperienced. We get a little background of her. So go and get ready, right? She was basically yes, sold to a woman who's going to use her in a brothel. Charming young girl. So pretty. I think she's an orphan. I hope she'll give you every satisfaction. She doesn't really take to brothel life, though. She's not really receptive to it. Sweets to the sweet, my dear. Thank you, sir. When she refuses to do what she's supposed to do, she gets spanked. So and she's so young Francis escaped. She had no money save a few coins which she found in the pocket of the boy's jacket which she now wore. In school she had read about the sea and resolved to reach port and find work aboard a ship. So I was going to see Maud. He's going to go away for a while. So he sends Francis the away to be refined. The transformation of Francis. Here she is. Looking more my girly now. Francis, if you take my breath away. You like the dress? Don't think it's too daring. You'll stop the traffic in the Strand when we go to dinner. We're dining out? All three of us together? How splendid. Where are you taking us? I intend to. It's getting late. Oh, Charlie, I just thought of something. There's only one bedroom at the villa. What a dreadful problem. Needless to say, they all I share a bedroom together. I'm more and more of my time in London, and particularly in her company. I have a better idea. 
Why don't you come with me on a little excursion I'm planning for tonight? That depends what you're planning. I brought a friend with me. The excursion was to a I've brothel. Been telling him all about you. It just so <laughs> happens to be the same brothel Entirely. where Francis came from. This is my friend Charles. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Come on, girls, drink up. You better be getting dressed. There are treated to several young uh -huh. ladies there. <laughs> or undressed, as the case may be. They're also treated to a strip show. Quizzes her on Francis. It may help you to recollect if I tell you she left this place dressed as a boy. Oh, yes. Now I remember. Ungrateful child. Beaumont does not appreciate her words and makes her pay for it. But while he's gone, someone else well, makes so the moves on her. Now listen to me, Francis. I followed you here to the 2K, and I don't intend to let you get away. Don't you realize? I'm in love with you. Please. Francis, if you love me, I want you to promise me something. Charlie, of course I love no, you. No, I'm serious. I want you to promise me not to see Mr. Brooke again. If we're leaving the 2K in the morning, I'm hardly likely to. I want you to promise me. He's then. a little jealous. But she does see him again. Nothing happened, but... No. I've come by to pick up some things. Tonight I'm going to sleep at the club, and tomorrow I'm going back to Wilkerson. Oh, Charles, forgive me. I know I broke my promise, but it wasn't my fault. Much? You'll receive any what you deserve. Her punishment is the usual spanking. Oh, Charles, I do so care for you still. Now he has a nice offer, but to though. to you I shall always be a child, and I want to be a woman. Have you thought about becoming a wife? Do you mean that? I wouldn't have said it otherwise. So they get married. And so we settle down to married life together. I cannot help but think that after such strange beginnings, how happy our life has been. And I wonder how it would have been if he had been a boy. All right. Let's talk about this movie called Lady Libertine. I know this better as the movie Frank and I, which showed up on cable quite often in the mid-80s. Um, late night cable. Just a typical late night cable titty movie, as we used to call them. Like The Joy of Flying or... Vanessa, I have a thousand delights. She's 19 already. In that sort of vein. Now, this is kind of like a period piece, also very similar to like Black Venus, which I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. It takes place, I guess, sometime in the 1800s, maybe 1700s. I don't know. Maybe 1800s. I don't know. Maybe early 1900s. I don't recall any cars, but who knows? Whatever. Anyway, uh, the movie is um, about uh, this guy named Beaumont, uh, Charles Beaumont, I think. He's uh, tuning along one day, and he comes across uh, this boy, or he thinks it's a boy, and he says, I got no home, blah, blah, blah. So he takes him in and uh, basically uh, starts to raise him a little bit, lets him stay there for a couple days, a couple weeks, I'm not sure. But at one point, Charles, or, the, or Frank, the kid, uh, gets in trouble, and Charles decides it's time to, to spank him, whip him. So he makes him drop his pants bare butt and starts uh, like whipping him on the back and then when he turns around he sees there's no penis so um frank is not frank frank is a girl so uh, he and he realizes it and then um uh he starts to fall for her um she's got this weird like dutch boy haircut um but she's kind of cute so he starts to fall for her once he realizes it's a girl, and then uh, ultimately the secret is revealed that, yes, I know you're a girl, and then uh, they sleep together. Well, they're in there kind of a couple, and then at one point he sends her off to London, I think, to uh, kind of get refined and learn some womanly things, including some more like sexual secrets in the bedroom. Meanwhile, he runs off and uh, sleeps with this other girl named Maud, who's played by Sophie Favier, something like that. Beautiful, beautiful actress, by the way. Um... And then uh, they get back together with, uh, he gets back together with Francis, uh, who now has longer hair, looks more girly. And um, 
ultimately we then learn her backstory where she was like an orphan or something and she was basically bought by this woman who runs a brothel and put to work in the brothel. I don't know if she actually ever uh, worked as a prostitute or not, but eventually she decided to leave that place. She wasn't having it. And that's how uh, Beaumont found her uh, later on, just kind of wandering outside. So anyway, uh, near the end of the movie there, he decides to propose to her, even though she'd been like, uh, she hadn't really fooled around with, but she'd been pursued by this other guy named uh, Jeffrey Brooke. Um, and he like forbade her to see, uh, Beaumont forbade her to see Mr. Brooke. And then he spanked her a few more times. Um, but ultimately he ends up proposing to her. They get married and he takes her to his estate and they live happily ever after. So be it. That is Frank and I. Now, Frank and I, um, I remember watching this movie when I was a kid and I had a thing for Jennifer Inch who plays the, uh, the title character here because she kind of reminded me of, uh, a girl I knew in real life who I had a crush on. Um, and, uh, she has full frontal nude scenes in this movie, as does Sophie Favier. Now, Sophie Favier, I read, I didn't know anything about her, but apparently she was a French uh, actress slash singer. She got a little bit of fame, and she's been part of, uh, she's been like a panelist on game shows, and she, she's made a name for herself in France. And apparently, according to IMDb, when this movie was tried to be re-released on DVD, or maybe it was in VHS, I don't know, she tried to, uh, pre to block it to prevent it from happening didn't work thankfully um i guess she's embarrassed by it she's full frontal nudity in it and man she is beautiful i can tell you that um but she's also posed for nude magazines too so i don't know what her deal with but whatever right so anyway uh this is released on uh, dvd and blu-ray it might be a double blu-ray with the movie love circles which i reviewed uh a few days ago as well can't remember but that is um that's it uh it doesn't not have a release under the frank and i title on dvd that i'm aware of anyway um according to imdb there's like three and a half minutes cut out of all versions um however this appears to be the full version at least according to the running time on imdb so i don't know i it seemed to be a little bit longer than the vhs version also i do have a pre-recorded vhs movie uh, version of this which i think was put up by mgm in one of those like big boxes that kind of folded open and that sort of thing but um that's frank and i now if you're into like some s m stuff some spanking a little whipping this is definitely a movie for you we have a beautiful actress who gets spanked a lot so there you go that is lady libertine otherwise known as frank and i i don't know what happened to jennifer and she did a few movies in the 80s she did a couple other playboy things this was actually i guess produced by playboy and shown on the playboy channel quite a bit too but um she did a couple more like that she did a couple um like anna of avonlea movies and then she just disappeared i tried to find some new information on her nothing I don't know if she's American, uh, French, or what, but yeah, I don't know where Jennifer Inch is, but uh, wherever she is, I'm sure she's looking beautiful still. So check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about Lady Libertine, a.k.a. Frank and I. I will leave you a link to something down below on Amazon, and if you're into these kind of films, it's a good one to get. Check it out. Leave some comments. Watch it. Bye.